this time on Dragon Ball Z. Goku uses his actual power level against Vegeta in his actual power level. Except it's gonna turn out that they were both faking it again! <laughs> that was freaking terrible. S fighting Cell or whoever it was. It must have been. Oh wow! I remember you. I think it was Cell he was fighting in the tournament. Yeah, it was. And they're like, ah, I wasn't using my power level. I was only using half my strength. And he's like, I was only using half my strength also. What a coincidence. But if we're both using half our strength, then I guess that's pretty much the same fucking thing as if we were both using full strength. So why are we fucking fighting again? Oh, that was interesting. I remember that somehow. 25%, I found a secret. Didn't even know I did. Didn't know it existed. Didn't know I found it. I heard something behind me, but the audio in this isn't the greatest. Or is it the greatest? And I'm just not used to it being playing games with the greatest audio. Hmm. Yeah, how about that brain teaser? Figure that one out. Hachi. Hmm. Halo 2 and Halo 1. Those were the only good Halo games. Although Halo 3 was fun. It was fun because I knew more people who played it. And also it was bigger. But, uh, I don't know. I guess it's just as fun as any of the other Halos. Just very small skill ceiling. Although, to be fair, what the hell? Halo 2, not the biggest skill ceiling, except for the freaking glitches. <laughs> that completely opened up the game. Their fuck ups. Although, was it? It must have been fuck ups. Because Halo 3 didn't have any button glitches. Ow, oh, I walked right into it. But Halo 1 and Halo 2. What is this? Invulnerability? Good thing I picked this up after I killed everyone. Like in every fucking RPG ever. I don't understand what is wrong with me. Oh. Maybe I should punch him. Nope! That is not invulnerability. And that is not a weapon I have ammo in. And I don't have ammo for any weapon, so... <laughs> well, this is interesting. Almost as if I've ever played a game before. Um. Exit? No. No. Why are you people all here? Don't you have jobs? Go away. That door didn't open. Speedrun. This is the new idea for a speedrun. <laughs> I don't have a blue car. I wonder if I have to kill everyone at any point. I wonder if I'm dodging these. Or if they just disappear at a certain distance. That was not a good shot. <laughs> well, at least I hit my last two shots. Oh, hey, look at this. Found something. Oh. Um. Let's jump over their heads. That didn't work. I jumped into their heads. <laughs> well, I'm about as good at this as anyone can be. I don't remember what I was saying about Halo. Other than they ruined the freaking series by taking out all the skills. And they actually said, I can't believe I was still excited for it. Like, oh, I thought they were going to go back. They were like, oh, we're bringing back the Halo 1 pistol. I was like, oh man, they're going back to the roots? They're going to make it a competitive game again? MLG is going to be watchable. It's no longer going to be all about team play. Oh, look at that. It's actually going to be some skill-based shit. You can see some one-on-ones. 
like Halo 2, Karma destroying everyone, and Halo 2, 2v2s with the Ogre Twins destroying everyone, and 4v4 with Final Boss destroying everyone. Man, that was like the one time I actually liked watching an undefeated team just constantly win. But maybe it's because they were sometimes close games against Carbon. <laughs> I almost said straight ripping, but let's face it, straight ripping sucked. Ow, bitch. T2, T sucked. Also, you know what made it awesome? This shit talk. That they freaking now don't allow. As if it's something bad. That was freaking amazing. Gandhi walking up with toilet paper and giving it to T2 and watching him cry. <laughs> True story. Hmm, should I get this? I don't know. Don't know what it does. Berserk. I think it is punching everyone in its one hit kill. Yep. Okay, no. Not a one hit kill. This thing is useless. What the fuck's the point of it if it's not a one hit kill? Can I use other weapons with it? Oh, it's over. I'm fucking confused. But yeah, shit talking was the greatest part of that. Halo 2. Watching MLG. And then they got rid of it. I guess they still kinda had it when I was stopped watching. Oh shit. It just wasn't really interesting. I don't know. Not entirely sure why. But... It's definitely not very fun to watch anymore. Or it wasn't... You know, Halo 3 was still okay. But that's only because, like... You knew some people. And you're like, hey, yeah, it's them. <laughs> You wanted to see Walsh get revenge on uh, the ogres for kicking him off the team. Which he was the captain of. Like, he seemed like the leader. It seemed like it was his team in a way. And then they kick him off. Yeah, what's up with that? I think I stopped. Yeah, I stopped. What the fuck was that? Once he quit, that was it, it. Not even, like, at all enjoyable. Backpack. Full of ammo. Too bad I don't have a gun. I wish I found a backpack full of guns. I'm just, like, gonna take damage here, because there's nowhere to dodge. <laughs> yeah. So Halo 3 is pretty crap. Halo Reach was... I don't know. That was really crap. The bloom system. I think... MLG started using no bloom, but it was just too late at that point. Once you freaking see Quake, and you're like, oh yeah, this game. Freaking Quake Live changed everything. I'd forgot about Quake until my friend had told me they were bringing back my favorite game, Quake 3. My favorite game of all time. Maybe still my favorite game of all time. There's definitely some other good games out there. Portal. Mm, but, uh... Quake 3 is just fucking amazing. And I think Quake Live is better than it. Because the weapons are slightly better around it. Although, freaking CPM... I like PQL more. Which is... Probably the least popular opinion ever. But it's just more fluid. Everything works better just seems to react to what you're doing. Maybe I just... I don't know. Old games seem glitchy. And like, not as responsive or something. I don't know. But I tried playing CPM and I was like, this isn't doing what I want it to do. I can move, like, 
piece of cake and Quake Live, and here it's not. Maybe that's part of the skill gap, and it's something I could just learn, and then I'd be like, oh yeah, okay, now I know. This game is way better. But I just don't want to learn, because it's older, and I don't think it's ever going to take over where Quake Live is. That being said, Quake Live standalone, not the best idea. Quake 5 would have been better. Just saying. Let's stop.